Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Habib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Habib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets. Also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Samba, Jiu Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not completely. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, some differences in height and reach as well. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Leving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Makhakala, Russia, Magomed and Goliath. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 
A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Good work from the top here by Nurmagomedov. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very active. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest. A position we call 50-50 because nobody has the advantage. Who's gonna be the one to find that one little area? Now on a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotation high punch is taking for a ride. Fighter trying to pass here. Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Got clip with the right hand. Artie's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura here. It's oh. in there deep. There you go. Turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as he yeah, takes it got down by submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Habib the Eagle Nurmagomedov. All right, so there he is, all smiles and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.